mean to tell me that... He said we have to... Go down, priceless. Angry mob. Remind him that these people are from the Netherlands and not the nether regions. <laughs> yeah. We need to melt down mobs from the nether region. Good thing I already got one from there. He's in here hanging out, getting abducted by Drigmies. And we're going to borrow him for a quick, hot second. You can't even see him, but it's Soldier right there. He's a wraith from the nether, and we need to smelt him down. And apparently, he stays alive when you put him in a smeltery. And somebody gave me a great idea for later down the road. I'm just not sure if it's going to fit in here. If we put a smeltery in here, and my twist on the idea was make like a smeltery into a chandelier of sorts. I can't sing or I'd bust into some lyrics right now. But then we could get dual purpose. We can milk the dude or whatever it's called. We got to get liquefied something. Where's it at? This part. Chaos. Chronicle chaos. We need this liquefied resin bucket. I don't even know what we do with it, but we need that stuff. And I need this. I'm I'm making uh, mending books on the forge over yonder. And I need to walk through the steps of this stuff, which is chapter 3, M3, whatever. And I figured, you know what? I might as well clear out this while I do it. And I need a bucket of this to keep my progress moving along. And eventually... <laughs> will automate this whole system but for today i think today's video we're going to start out i'm going to make a smeltery and for those of you that have made smelteries and know how to do it it might not be that interesting but there's going to be people that never seen it and they're going to be like dude that's so cool and you could use it for what because you could double in the past triple whatever but now it's like eh, we changed that Let's make a smeltery. And while we make the smeltery, let's go over some great tips for Minecraft gameplay. Make sure your inventory is so jacked up that you can't fit any of the parts or pieces that you need to make said smeltery in your inventory. This is a huge tip. Can I have this gravel, please? We need to make grout. And we're going to do that right here. Boom. Look at this. Grout. Clay, sand, gravel. You get grout. A lot. We're going to need a lot. Because we might need multiple schmelteries. Right? You take it a grout. And you burn it. Fans. Lava. And that's going to turn it into... <laughs> if you breathe on it real fast, sometimes it speeds it up. Seared bricks. We need this to make all the parts and pieces for schmeltery. And we need to turn the bricks into more bricks. But you get less bricks this way these things we need these and we need some other parts and pieces which i think i already have a seared melter a heater i mean we could use a heater to start let's not do that though we need scorched brick which comes from nether grout which i already made so i have scorched brick and then we need to combine that with where you at this is getting great boom right here piece of this stuff nether quartz and we'll get a scorched fuel tank so we take this guy this guy we need a casting basin i don't have one so we're gonna go like this we're gonna take these bricks that we saved and we're gonna do that we're not doing that at all we need to do that we need a casting basin boom and then i think i saw these in here we're gonna need a faucet and now we can start our smeltery it's dark <laughs> Oh, the whimper was real. And we also need one of these, a seared drain and a casting table we're going to need because we're going to pour a bucket out of this guy. This allows you to put fluid in and out of the schmeltery. Did I say schmeltery enough? We need copper. We're going to bring copper with us because we're going to need copper to make another thing. And we can make the drain. Boom. So fast. I know. And we need a casting table. Boom. And that should be all the parts and pieces we need. I don't really have room for anything else. I know we do need one more thing. Uh, we got to do it like this because, you know, with the inventory thing. And, ah, uh, most important piece in Minecraft, we need a lever. Let's make smeltery. 
Oh, I can fly. We're going to do a temporary one, but it might be a permanent one. It's going to stay right here at my infinite pool of lava. It's going to fill the seared fuel tank, scorched fuel tank, whatever it's called. And we're going to do it right here. But we need to make a smeltery controller first. So let's put our smeltery... That's so cool how I don't pick none of this stuff up. This is why I play with my inventory so jacked up all the time. We're going to put our smeltery right here. And we're going to pump a lava into our scorched fuel tank just like so. I don't have none of the parts for create, but we can build this deal. No, we can't do anything because I don't have none of the stuff. Uh, seared melter is going to go right on top of this dude. Boom. We need to fill that with lava. Let me go get some parts. Sometimes you just have to give in, you know? I don't like to do it often, but sometimes you have to. Real expertly, like, we're going to go like this. Boom, 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 boom. Except you can't boom there. We want you to not boom there. Ah, she's not booming there. Flip this dude, and that should fill up with lava. It is fast and efficiently. And now we take this thing... We're going to put this guy right here. Temporary. Oh, I'm basic. That's right. We're going to put this guy right here. Ah, it's just like so. We're going to take one of these dudes. We're going to put it in there. And then we're going to take some copper. You need four ingots in here. I can only fit three in at a time. Boom. There's our four ingots. And then we're going to pour it right on top of this and it's going to become a smeltery controller copy that and we're making loud noises i don't know why i put it back in there does this work on this no why would it ah. and then we can take all this apart oh it works on them though and we can build our smeltery around our tank. We're going to go like this. Boom. Boom. That's the controller. That's the deal. Except we don't want to do that. We want to go like this. That's <laughs> great. Boom. Maybe I should put it this way, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Boom. Even though it's temporary, you still got to kind of care about how it looks, right? So your drain is going to go right there. And then we're going to go like this. How wide do I want to make this thing? How big is a wraith? These are the questions I have. Nobody has the answers to. We're going to go like this. Temporary deal. So we could build a floor. We're going to make it three wide. And it's going to go all the way in here into my lawn. And now we're going to get rid of these dudes. Boom, boom, boom. And then we're going to build... Our smeltery, and you can just build it up like this. You don't need blocks under it. And that's a smeltery, but we want ours to be a little bit taller because we want to put the wraith dude in here, right? So we're going to go higher and keep building this thing up. I'll put this about four levels high until I run out of bricks. Sound good? Because this might stay here forever. Like I said, we don't really know. I just need a bucket of liquefied something. I don't even remember the name of it now. And I don't know if you could put a create seat in here. You probably can't. So we'll probably have to do something like this. And then we can cover that when we get the dude in there, right? Invalid block in walls. What do you mean, bro? Huh? Andesite casing. No, that's what I'm holding in my hand. Where's the invalid block? This? 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 
this? <sighs> Fuel tank. Can you not use a scorched fuel tank in there? Do you have to use this one? All right. Do I have more bricks? I'm good at making tutorials. This is why I do it. Boom. And boom. It looked something like that, right? Yep. Just like that, dude. Boom. We have a seared fuel tank now. I didn't know that you couldn't use this one, if that's what it's telling me. I'm not sure that that's even what it's telling me. We need to turn this dude off so we don't kill ourselves, right? He's going to pump back into there, maybe. We can't pick that up with that. We need to do that. And then we put this guy here, and then we flip this dude around again. He's going to fill up that tank. We're going to take this one, and we're going to put it here in remnants of tube being a bot. And now we have a schmeltery. <laughs> A mighty schmeltery. Now we just go grab this dude. Hopefully it works. Where you at? Ah, you're coming with me. He's going to want to fly away, isn't he? 100% he is. Which one has him? This does. So let's go like this. For now. Not. You can't be in there. Nope. <sighs> and then we put soldier in here. <sighs> if I go in there, I'm going to die. Maybe. It's worth the shot. There it is. Soldier is in there along with tube blood. So we got to click this because that's what we want to pour out. You want whatever you're pouring out at the bottom. And you have to hear the cries of hope from Soldier. And we need a casting table. We're going to put that guy uh, right here. And we're going to put this dude, the other thing that I made, the casting basin, right there. And then we're going to take one of these guys and we're going to put it right here. Is this going great or what? I mean, another one of them dudes for the other side. In case we ever need the poor blocks of something out of here. Soldiers getting milked. And we could put this dude right here. Boom. And we got a schmeltery and it looks phenomenal. I know. You don't have to tell me twice. We should save that because we're going to move soldier back into the other deal. We need a thousand millibuckets in here to pour a bucket. We put that bucket on said casting table and wait for Soldier to get milked. And I think you could build a two by two interior after putting him in there. Maybe. And that could be the chandelier. That would look kind of cool in there, right? That's what I'm thinking. 991 bucket. Boom. Pour that deal out. And we're going to make loud noises, right? Yes. We got the thing. We could take Soldier and put him back at the original location. Where you at, bud? Ah, peace and quiet. Come with me, bud. You go right back on your chair here. Thank you very much for your service. <laughs> and now I can continue on my quest of making them books. But you don't want to watch me make books. So let's just talk about why a smeltery can come in handy. Right? I'll just grab these for now. These are crushed raw ores. I think they can go into a smeltery. And we're going to do this. I'm going to put a hopper right into the controller and then on top of here I'll put a chest right and then down here we can go something like this I'll put a chest right here boom boom and then out of the casting basin we'll put a hopper into there and out of the casting table we'll put a hopper into there right so we have in here 
liquefied resin from Soldier and tube blood from Tube. Right? We don't care about either of them. Because right now, we're just going to go like this and put this crushed raw copper in there. You can put anything that's going to make an ingot in here. A lot of liquids can be made in here. Uh, we might need like blaze blood later in the future. You can put blaze in here and burn them and you'll get blaze blood from them. So that should be smelting the copper. It doesn't because it's crushed for all copper. Copy that. Let's take this out of here. Let's take this out of here. <laughs> and take this out of here let's start at the beginning why a smeltery is important in modded minecraft if you've never played is because you can take stuff and make other stuff you used to be able to double ores or triple ores i forget what it was back in the day but now i think that's taken away you need to raw form one two three four five six seven eight we bring it all copper who cares right just for demonstration purposes and this time it's going to work you can take raw ore blocks pop them in here or the raw whatever material you're doing and now this is going to smelt down this stuff right and because we have it it's kind of automated you can do this you can take the lever most important block in minecraft and you can put it right there we're going to turn that copper into blocks because it'll pour out faster, right? So now you want whatever you're pouring at the bottom. And you can also alloy stuff in here. So if I put copper and gold in here, that would alloy together into... I don't remember what it's called, but it makes something, right? Boom, that does it in the smeltery. Click that deal. You want to pour them out, right? We already got nine blocks. See how fast this is? And then we hit that thing, and it's going to pour it out into the casting table... That's going to solidify. You see the timer bar there. I don't know why they added that. But, boom! We got a block of copper, and it goes right here. So you can process all your materials. The only thing you got to watch out for is the alloy thing like I spoke about, right? And you can make this thing, I think, as big as you want. So you've seen how much stuff fits in here right now. The taller we go, the more material you could fit in here, right? Or you could set it up in this fashion that I made right here. Pretty simple. And it's an easy way, early-ish game, to process your ores. We're going to leave that there for now. That's going to become part of the floor in our later factory where we're going to process oil. And probably just stick a soldier in there and then pump them to where we need it. But I just wanted to share a video and hopefully share some kind of knowledge with somebody. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun. I think today's going to be Thursday. Happy Thursday. Have fun and peace. Ooh, that's not very helpful. How do you make an ingot with this thing? Well, you can make a bunch of different things in here. Let me do this because to make anything in that casting table you need casts right and an easy way to make a cast in the beginning of the game is you make a sand cast you need to take sand craft it you get four of these deals you put that in the casting table and then you can plop an ingot in there but then when you pour whatever in here it uses up the sand cast so eventually you want to get to a point where you have a real cast and you make a real cast out of gold how much is in here a lot and then when you get to a point where your smeltery is like, dude, there's so much stuff in here, I don't even know what to do with it. You just go like that, and you break that block, and all that stuff disappears. Boom. And then we put this back, and notice, our smeltery is now empty. And I'm going to do this for demonstration purposes because my video doesn't really teach you anything. What if you want to make a cast? You take an ingot, any ingot, put some gold in your smeltery, and when that's smelted, you pour it over top. Turn that lever off because that's running that side. Pour it over top. Do I need more gold? 
Do you notice why I don't make tutorial videos? We're gonna put more gold in here. I thought it was four pieces made a thing. Maybe it is, and I'm just being a bot right now. Boom, you go in there, schmelt. Four ingots. Why you no cast over the table? How much do you need to make a cast? Oh, in this <laughs> change it. You need a sturdy sheet to make an ingot cast. In most Minecraft ever in existence, you don't use a sturdy sheet. You use a regular ingot. But in here, they had to be difficult. I guess what we're going to get into next episode, we're going to make sturdy sheets. Do I have any left over? Because I'd love to finish this video off with Tube making a cast. But guess what Tube doesn't have? Sturdy sheets. That's what we're going to get into next time. Folks, thank you for watching. Have fun. Have peace. Hope you enjoyed.